Marvel feel good TV. Now, it is something very strange about what what happened at Lakewood Church, the home of Joe Osteen, the prosperity pimp. The news has been very, very, very suspicious as usual. You know, but we're going to dig deeper to what exactly happened and why did it happen. Well, today, Houston police revealed more about the woman who opened fire at Lakewood Church yesterday. That is a transgender individual. These are women. This is a transgender individual. You see, that is a problem because it's been a lot of transgender uh, 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 mass shootings going on lately and it's even been a study happening saying something about the hormones could be leading some transgenders to lash out violently and commit violent crimes that's not what I'm reporting I'm saying it's been some studies they are presenting that information so just to let y'all know what's going on here this is a person that was born a Mexican man then transitioned uh, 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 into a, a Mexican woman or however they go about that. Yesterday creating chaos. We have team coverage anchor Anthony Antoine starting us off live at Lakewood Church. Anthony. Yeah, good evening, Caroline and Rashi. Well, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Lakewood Church, pastored by Joel Olstein, has really established an extremely strong, strong foundation in this Houston community and the world for that matter. But that foundation For ripping was people off, not showing no love. That man wouldn't even let the people into that goddamn church when Harvey was happening and the flooding was going on. He told, oh, no, we can't let any, we can't hold anybody. People said, man, let us in here. What's wrong with y'all? Yesterday, when police say a woman entered the west side of this church and then opened fire. Our Tom Ziska is picking up our team coverage here this evening. He was at a press conference today with several state of the tells him what's taking place. Tom. And the Lakewood Church remains a crime scene tonight, tonight as the, the picture behind Sunday's violence now becomes clearer. As we stand before you today, you will know what we know as, it, as we learn it. Houston Mayor John Whitmire is pledging total transparency as the investigation of the Lakewood Church shooting unfolds. What they know so far is that 36-year-old Genesee Moreno parked her SUV at the church entrance at 1.53 in the afternoon, hiding a semi-automatic rifle under a trench coat with her 7-year-old son in tow. At the front door, she met a church security guard. She displayed or possibly pointed a weapon. Uh, at, at that security officer and, and um, I'm kind of forced her way, her way in. By 1.55, she had... So the security guard, Coward, did he stood down? See, this is where the story first gets suspicious. Well, you just displayed the weapon. The security guard will say, oh, you got it. Don't you supposed to shoot the person or do you let them proceed to cause this here crime that took place? Opened fire inside, inside the church, church entrance, entrance and was confronted by a TABC agent and HPD officer, both working as off-duty security, and they engaged the woman, shooting her dead. These two officers held their ground. They held their ground in the face of rifle fire at Point Blank Range. Inside the church, there were several hundred people ready for a service that was about to begin. This man was working inside the sanctuary when the shots rang out. He does not want to show his face, but was shocked by the violence. Being inside the church is like a place to be safe, is supposed to be safe. And then at the nowhere, we hear the gunshots and you don't know what to do at that situation. Police have not found any connection directly between the church and Moreno and do not know why she came here. That's not true because there's other uh, channels saying that that was her church. Osteen, why are you trying to not deny I never knew her? Y'all been counseling her. You probably told the man it was okay to transition. Hmm. And then the young man turned woman don't like the life. But what we do know is, now they're trying to pretend like they never knew it. That's not true. Among their clues, a Palestine sticker on the butt of one of the two rifles she was carrying. Free Palestine, they say, wrote on the uh, motherfucking 
rifle. Oh, Lord, that sounds like the CIA. No, sound like Mossad to me. Yes, Israel. I know y'all somewhere around this. And, and writings, writings that, that investigators, investigators say are anti-Semitic. Anti we do believe See? that there was a familial dispute that has taken place. Now, this is a Mexican person. This is not no Arab. This is a Mexican person. Remember that. Her ex-husband and her ex-husband's family and some of those individuals are of uh, are Jewish. So we believe that that is, might, might possibly be where all of this stems from. Oh, yeah? Well, why not go shoot up a synagogue? I mean, if you don't like the Jewish people, wouldn't you go find some Jewish people? Or would you go shoot up a Spanish-speaking church because that was Spanish-speaking? No, all the good whites was there earlier. That evening, Spanish-speaking, some blacks, you know, whites who was at work in the morning, they'll come later on at night. But this was the Spanish, for a lot of Spanish-speaking people, you can come and be comfortable here. I thought she did. I thought she didn't like the Jews. Now, now, among, among the, the injuries, injuries from, from yesterday, yesterday, the woman's seven-year-old child, we're told, was shot in the head in the crossfire remaining in critical condition. Man, they won't tell you that. The police shot the seven-year-old boy in the head. Why are they not? The police, that's like, oh, brave officers. You shot the seven-year-old boy in the head. In the crossfire, you shot the seven-year-old boy. And then some people saying, she was using the little boy as a shield. So they opened fire on the little boy? That's ridiculous. They shot the little boy in the fucking head. The police did. Bishop at Texas Children's Hospital. A 57-year-old man who was hit in the leg or hip has since been released from Ben Taub Hospital. Meantime, police have not characterized the specifics of those anti-Semitic writings. They are not calling this a hate crime. Uh, just don't know about what it can't be a hate crime because there's no Jews in there. How can it be a man? I'm sure, please. How can it be an offense? Now, he, she went to a synagogue and then start shooting it up. You got your hate crime. What the hell are y'all talking about? Hate against who? Spanish-speaking people? I thought there some immigrants in there. Because there are still, still so many questions. questions. Yeah. That do not yet have answers. Nah, so many don't make sense. What y'all trying to pull here? Yeah, Tom, before you go, I do have a couple more questions for you. First, let's start with the weapons. We know she entered the building with two weapons. Do you have any more details about the legalities of how she acquired those weapons? So here's what we know. She had a 22 caliber rifle that was not used. It was on her person. She had an AR-15, we're told by police, which was the gun that she used. That was purchased in December, they say. Now, she does have some sort of criminal record as a history of mental health problems as well. Ah, there we go. Bingo. Mentally health issues. Okay, is that when the uh, doctors told her, we got a mission for you? See, we don't get these shooters until we get the mental health. You see, they got to make sure it line all up proper. No, this ain't no terrorist. This is a mentally ill individual. Nah, nah, there's much more going on here. One would imagine that those would have been flags when she tried to purchase a weapon, so police Anthony are trying to figure out what may or may not have gone wrong during that transaction. He failed the mission. I gotta find out who was there that night. Yeah, and at that press conference today, Chief Finner, along with the mayor, really letting the public know there's going to be some more things that come to fruition as they continue to investigate. But I have one more question for you here, Tom. I mean, this is, when you talk about places of worship, what happened, unfortunately, here can happen anywhere. So I have police to nah, the scared the hell out of all. See, see yeah, that's the scare the hell out of all of America. See, that's why they didn't go shoot up no synagogue. They didn't want that. They wanted all y'all to be in fear. Remember, we got the two white boys they say was on the way. I reported on that yesterday coming from Wyoming. They was going to be coming to League City. That's the, around, that's the same area. Now, I want you to ask yourself this. How is it that two white boys leaving Wyoming let, put out the word that they will be coming towards this same area to shoot up some preschools and then this mentally ill individual decided to go do this mission in the, one of the biggest mega churches in uh, 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 Texas and in the United States, Joe Osteen Church. <laughs> what a coincidence that you had two different groups, some mentally ill young white boys and this mentally ill transgender individual all going to cause harm to this same area in Texas. You see, I, I said from the beginning that, you know, the fear that they want to put in Texas 
I feel like the government, federal government wants Texas to be in fear because Greg Abbott keeps sending these migrants into Chicago, into New York, that's causing problems in the Biden administration. So they're not causing problems in, in, in the community of Texas because this, this, this is the rich. This is a rich area right here. A lot of fear because the preschool people be getting shot up, not by the transgender, but by some regular crazy young white boys. Now the transgender operative just popped up out of nowhere. And see, everybody in fear, especially the people who was there that morning. Oh, it could have happened to us. That's called terrorism, terrorizing community. Safe for community. No, it's not safe in Houston. Yeah, the, uh, the, special the special agent, agent in charge for the FBI, FBI said, said uh, this, this is, is this is one, one of those things that we've known. Will, will it's, it's not, not a when, when this, this will happen. happen. It's, it's not a rather an if, but it's a when this sort of thing will happen. Mayor Whitmire said that every house of worship in the city of Houston can get some form of protection. They didn't go into specifics. Ah, uh, BS. Do you know how many? Houston, one of the largest cities in the world. You mean the mega churches will get some form of protection? Because it is a church on every freaking corner in Houston. Just like at regular communities. It's a mom and pop sh shop church everywhere. Please. It's 20,000 churches, maybe 30,000 churches and houses of worship in Houston. I have all the people that get no protection. So they just said that, man. They ain't really protect everybody. But some, some form, form of protection, protection uh, from, from authorities, authorities if, if they, they want it because they do want to want to see this sort of thing. Nah, whatever. Whatever. Let's dig a little deeper, y'all. How y'all about that? How about that? Because this type of stuff, we just can't let this go. The latest, the latest on the Lakewood, Lakewood Church, Church shooting, shooting that has made national, national headlines. headlines. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at 10 o'clock. I'm Danielle Guzman. And I'm Keith Garver. We are learning more tonight about the woman who opened fire in the church and the young child critically injured. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is live at Lakewood Church tonight as we hear from the family of the seven-year-old boy who was shot in the head. Bryce. Keith and Daniela, that seven-year-old victim who police say is the shooter's biological son continues fighting for his life in the hospital tonight as his grandmother is sharing a statement for the first time calling this a completely preventable horror. See, that's his son from when he was a man. And tonight we have new reporting. Divorce records are revealing details about that shooter's documented mental health history as police have called it as well as a possible connection to this mega church. Tonight, local, state, and federal investigators combing through evidence collected from the home of 36-year-old Janessi Moreno, who Houston police say opened fire in Joel Osteen's church Sunday. Police say Moreno entered the mega church wearing a trench coat with her son when she began firing an AR-15 bearing a Palestine sticker. Gunshots interrupted the start of a Spanish language service. Before an off-duty HPD officer at CH Spanish language service. That's a key. Don't overlook that. That's why I'm going through thing. Spanish language service. That is a key to all of this shit. Why didn't this CIA operative transgender shoot earlier? But more victims. That's when the place is pumping. Because that's not when they sent this individual there. BC agent, agent returned, returned fire. fire. She eventually, she eventually falls, falls to the ground. To the ground. The seven-year-old seven child, child it falls to the ground, ground as well. well. Authorities, Authorities haven't determined whose gunfire, gunfire struck, the struck the child in the head. head. That's a but damn lie. Ready. The police struck the seven-year-old. The police struck the seven. This is disgusting. This, hey, you, you, you freaked out. The terrorist is shooting towards you. You didn't give a damn about that seven-year-old. This, 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 this is the goddamn truth to him. You didn't give a damn about that seven-year-old boy. Okay. And then you killed the terrorists, bro. I just want all of y'all to remember that. These people shot that seven-year-old boy in the head. I believe. And mother, and mother writing, writing on Facebook, on Facebook no, no one may, one may ever, ever blame a police, a police officer who carries out his or her rightful duty to save lives, lives even, even if they are found responsible for shooting my grandson. grandson. Huh, now we know Now we know who done it. The police done it. And the motherfucking grandma already boot licking and buck dancing and shoe shining. Don't blame them. What the fuck? Don't shoot the little boy. Kill the terrorist. That don't make no sense. You see, you, 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 Israel trained your goddamn police officers. I guess 
see, they said they put, she Hamas. Hey, Hamas using uh, people as human shields, right? Right for our eyes. Just kill them. That ain't right. That ain't, that, that ain't the police procedure and protocol. Hold oh, on, oh, wait, wait. There's a hostage. There's a hostage. Stand down. They will back up. Get out the way. Everybody's not. The, what's the procedure here? Just kill the semi old boy? That is crazy to me. The shooter, the shooter has, been has been arrested at least five, five times, times record show. show. That little boy was in 2022, pleading, pleading guilty, guilty to unlawful, unlawful carrying, carrying of a weapon. weapon. Investigators, Investigators say Moreno, Moreno used, used many aliases, aliases including, including some, some male, male names like Jeffrey, Jeffrey and, that and that they found, found anti-Semitic anti writings. writings. We do, we do believe, believe that there was a familial dispute that has taken place between her ex-husband ex and her ex-husband's ex family, family, and some, and of, some those of those individuals, individuals are Jewish. Are Jewish. Divorce, Divorce records, records obtained by KPRC, by KPRC show her ex-husband in 2021 told a judge Moreno, Moreno would physically, physically attack, attack him, him and on and multiple occasions chased, chased him out of the house, of the house with, with knives. knives. One, One time with their with child in the car, she pointed a gun on him and that she told him all the time that she just tricked him to get her citizenship. Records reveal the child's paternal grandmother asked a Montgomery, Montgomery County, County Court, Court to appoint, appoint her, her temporary, temporary managing conservator, conservator claiming, claiming Moreno, Moreno had schizophrenia, had schizophrenia and, didn't and didn't always take her, take prescribed, her prescribed medication. medication. She, does she does have, have a, mental a mental health history, history that, that is documented, documented through us and through, us and through interviews, interviews with family, family members. members. While police, While police haven't, haven't revealed a motive, a motive the, grandmother the grandmother wrote in custody, custody battle documents the church shooter and her mother knowingly and intentionally harmed the child by lying to authorities for reasons hard to understand. Stand, stand, even, even by the pastoral, the pastoral staff, staff of Joel Osteen's, Osteen's church, church, where Moreno's, Moreno's mother, mother attended. attended. See? <laughs> see? And that no, she attended too. Y'all act like y'all don't know this person. Now, y'all know this person, goddamn it. Mother writing, writing on Facebook, when family, family members seek emergency, seek emergency protections, protections they're, they're not doing so for their, their own sake, sake, but for the sake, sake of the person who is ill, and to protect her child and society. That grandmother also blaming the state for not having stronger red flag laws, which could have prevented Moreno from owning or possessing a gun. Tonight, police say that AR-15 she used was purchased legally, but they did find another gun in her bag, and tonight they're still investigating where that one came from. We're live, We're live in Upper Kirby Town. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. This investigation continues. Bryce, thank you. There's and we more are to the store. There's more to the store. That they're not saying. That was. Jonathan, Jonathan Lee Rich is investigating. Got some new information about this individual right here, Genesee, Genesee Moreno, Moreno, AKA. AKA. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Escalante, Escalante Moreno, Moreno, the Lakewood Church, Church mass, mass shooter, shooter or shooter, shooter, could have been a mass shooting, shooting in, Houston, in Houston, Texas. Texas. This, this individual has an extensive, an extensive criminal, criminal record, record, and I want, and to, I want share to share that record, record with, with all of you, all of you right, right here. It's, it's wild, wild, folks. And then and we then so will imagine this person right here told the the whoever they married, "I tricked you to get my citizenship." Oh, this is crazy. Ha, the terrorists say I'm, they tricking people to get over here and commit terrorism. This is the scandal. See, this is why we watch all these different stuff to piece it all together. This is outrageous. Check it out. Check it out. Trying to trick people. This is a man. Okay, okay, so here, so here is, is a list, a list of, of all the arrests, arrests of Genesee, of Genesee Moreno. Moreno. Prior, Prior criminal, criminal record. record. Unlawful, unlawful carrying, carrying a, weapon. a weapon, failure, failure to, maintain to maintain financial, financial responsibility, evading arrest, arrest and detention, detention. Forgery. forgery to defraud, to defraud or, or harm of another, another. Assault. assault, came here to do all this, theft, theft. got citizenship to do all this, evading arrest, arrest. Hmm? possession, possession of, marijuana. of marijuana, the most, the most recent, recent arrest seems like, like it happened, happened in April 2022. 2022, this, this individual, individual has been, has been getting, getting in trouble, in trouble with, the with the law for, for over, over a, a decade, decade. And, now and now committed, committed this, this horrible, horrible act, act at Lakewood, Lakewood Church. Church. Let me know, Let me what, know you what you think. This is crazy. So this, so this individual, individual has numerous mugshots going, going back, going back, back at, at least a decade. decade. Now, I've now I've been, been digging, digging on this individual. individual. No, this person was a member of the Lakewood Church in Houston. That's And they keep saying... No, we didn't know. We didn't know. Yes, you a damn lie. 
This was your member and her mother. Oh, oh. Olsteen's church, church, the mega, the mega church. church. Hmm. Why did this individual write like Why did this individual do this horrific crime? crime. I, think I think it could have been, been much, much, much worse. worse. Could have brought, brought a child, a child with, them. with them. Possibly, Possibly used the child, child as a human shield. Also, we don't know much information about the mother. Please don't have no right to shoot that child, man. You stand down. What's that? The bomb squad. There. There. What was the intent of here? Was it to also, also, I want to say, say that this individual, individual donated, donated to the church, to the church before, before and was a prior member. And see? it's interesting, it's interesting because, because this individual, this individual over, the over the years on social media, media and we've shared this individual's, this individual's Facebook, Facebook page. page. Uh, uh, one is into real estate. And two, post a lot of God, God stuff. stuff. So, so I, find I find that very, very, very interesting. What's your thoughts about this individual and this crime? You know, you know, a person, person with a gun, gun to take this person, person out. This, I think is, I think this, this is, is a government site uh, uh, that Texas is paying for sending migrants. It's not and a migrant just so happened to do the shooting. You know what I'm saying? Texas is paying for sending migrants all to, to, to Chicago and to New York. The CIA do stuff like this. The government do sh do shit like this. It terrorizes the co it terrorizes the community. But all they need to do is get their hands on these. And when these inter uh, I did a live on this. When these mass shooters get activated, is when they go to get help, mental mental help. See, when they get when they take them prescription pills, which y'all understand is these people sit. They got people. They got these people got people set up in pharmacies all over this country. It is not no conspiracy. The bottle of pills you get ain't the regular bottle of pills another person get. Once your name go across that counter, you in the hands of the government. You ain't getting what you think you. Oh no no yeah, I, this comes from the a, a pharmacy. Yeah, but your name ran. You ran your name right. That's right. If your name, if your name run across that that, that machine and them people look, mm, okay, give him the, the other kind. You ain't gonna know. But what it do is it chemically activate who they want to be chemically activated. You know, that's that that is true. And these people, they activate them to do exactly what they need them to do. Cause the chaos. The situation could have been, been much, much worse. worse. Parallel. That Joe up, bit Joe Osteen, his church was used. See, they gotta find a proper location, Joe Osteen Church. And what what show you they're guilty as shit? You do it when Joe Osteen not there? Why wouldn't this person go there and really make their statement known? Do it that morning. Why Joe there? Why wait till later doing the Spanish speaking part of the program? Like, come on. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? It's like Joe Osteen out there. Okay, good. it's a go. It's a go. Get the hell out of here. Now, Joe Osteen get to come out and stand with Biden and stand against gun violence, all that type of stuff. And more mental health stability for America. Sure, what a joke. Ew. Ew. Audrey, Audrey Hale a little bit, the Nashville, Nashville Christian, Christian school, school shooter, shooter possibly. possibly. Yes. Southern Springs. Springs. See, I'm glad you brought that up because I talked about that uh, yesterday. The, the 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 Nashville Christian school shooter, the transgender, put out the manifesto that they won't release, talking about they want to go kill the kids in these schools and, and, and target children. That's true. School, school shooter, shooter, possibly. possibly. Southern, Southern Springs. Springs. Texas, Texas church, church shooting, shooting, remember that? Remember that? Devin, Devin Kelly. Kelly. I, actually I actually interviewed, interviewed the, the man with the gun that stopped, stopped Devin, Devin Kelly, Kelly in his in tracks, tracks, even though even multiple, multiple people, people lost their lives. It could have been much, much, much worse, worse there. there. Wild, Wild case, case, but, but we are, are covering, covering this tragedy. tragedy. Subscribe, Subscribe to my channel, channel like, like it, the notification. We own it, y'all. Got to dig deeper because it don't make sense unless you understand how they plan. It's dirty. Cut figure. Follow me.